is a fabulous documentary from the poster of our program um, about um, different uh, adaptive sports across the country. Um, and then we finish off the night with The Case of the Three-Sided Dream, a uh, um, documentary about jazz musician legend Roland Kirk. Um, but now, this program, we are very excited to introduce um, the um, um, uh, special New York premiere of No Ordinary, Hebo no Ordinary Hero, the Super Deafy movie. <laughs> And uh, we are very grateful to our partners here today, and we'll start with the, one of our, uh, many of our founding partners, actually, um, Inclusion in the Arts, who are, uh, have been with us since day one. Thank you for once again being a part. Um, JDRC, who uh, the president, Alexis Kashar, will be leading the Q&A following um, the screening. She'll be leading that Q&A, by the way, with the director and the um, uh, lead actor, um, director Troy Kutzer and uh, actor um, John Lachery. And uh, finally, I'd like to thank um, SAG-AFTRA, um, one of our partners also, I think, since the first or second year of Real Abilities. And um, it gives me pleasure to introduce um, SAG-AFTRA member Garrett Zurcher, who is um, going to say a few words on their behalf. Please, Garrett. Hello, everyone. Let's say good afternoon. Uh, can everyone see me? A bit, let me move in the light. I have to read my speech. Sorry, guys. Much better. Can everyone see me? Great. Good afternoon. I want to thank a few people. You, you started with thanks, and I want to continue with some thanks. I'm a very proud member of SAG-AFTRA. I'm representing both SAG and AFTRA, and I'm also representing the Performance with Disabilities Committee. We've also been a huge support for this film. And there are two people that are very important to mention, the co-chair co -chair for uh, Inclusion in the Arts, Christine Bruno, a lovely person, and Anita Hollander, who's also another lovely person. I'd like to thank the wonderful team at Inclusion in the Arts. And I also want to thank all of you to come out for coming out and supporting the film, No Ordinary Hero. So thank you for being here and showing your support. It's a very exciting day. I'd also like to thank JCC, Real Abilities, for sponsoring the film festival. And SAG AFTRA is very, very proud to be a part of this for now the seventh event. I was asked to say a few words. I may have a personal note about my experience with the people in the film. I have two stories I would like to share. They're short, don't worry. <laughs> we'll get to see the, the, the film soon. The director, Troy, is a wonderful man. Fortunately, we worked on the Broadway tour, uh, the Broadway tour of Big River. And a lot of people had asked me what that experience was like. And I can tell you in one word, painful. <laughs> and let me explain what I mean by that. I played Huck Finn, and Troy played my father. He's a drunk, abusive father. So every night he would come up and beat me up on stage. Not backstage, just on stage. He would beat me up on stage. And uh, after the show, at home, I'd be nursing these bruises all night. <laughs> I mean, he's a strong man, as you will see. But even in spite of the pain, I would do it again in a second. It was such an amazing experience. Another story I'd like to share with you is my first year of college. My first day in acting class, I come in, and this lovely lady sits next to me. She doesn't know sign language, she's not deaf. We form a relationship, instant friends. Let's fast forward four years later. 
For my senior thesis, I thought, I want to write a play, a play about deaf culture. But then I looked around the theater department. I was the only deaf person in the whole theater department, and actually not only in the theater department, in the whole school. And I thought, well, how am I going to address this theme if no one else is deaf? I need a person who can sign. And I thought, well, what about her? I came up to her and I said, I'm writing this play. I would love for you to be in it, but all the lines have to be in sign language. You would have to learn the whole play in sign. And most people, if you said that, they run away and go, no way. But instantly she said a yes, an emphatic yes. And she did, I mean, she, we did so well that I won the American College Theater uh, Award, Festival Award, and it performed at Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. Mainly, I think, because of her. Like, she was a big part of that success. And her career has taken off. She's in Hollywood, she's played many, many, many roles, and many of them she portrays as a signing character. And she's well known for being nominated. She was, uh, there will be blood, in the Academy Award for There Will Be Blood. And, um, and again, in No Ordinary Hero, which you'll see her work today. I'm very proud that she is my friend, that I taught her sign language, and here we are again together in this film. It's wonderful. No Ordinary Hero has so many applications to, applies to all the people in the film, film because they're all heroes. Colleen Foy helped me, help my play, take off. And Troy, how many deaf directors do we have out there in the field? Very few. So thank you, Troy, for stepping up. And it's an amazing, amazing thing. We need more directors. We need more deaf directors. Seems like deaf people have been waiting for the industry to decide if our story is going to be told or not. And I say no. It's time that it's finally time that we roll up our sleeves and we create our own stories. We tell our stories, we create our stories, we portray our world to you. It's a much better way to go. And Troy has started it, and I'm so proud he's my friend who has done this amazing event. And for this movie to have an audience, you came, you want to see this movie, right? That's why we're here. And there's a huge audience for these stories. And it's a very good story. And it just shows the world that deaf people can make great films. I know you'll enjoy the film. And afterwards, please stay. A, a panel will follow the, the screening and Troy, the director, will be in the panel. John, the lead actor, will be on the panel to talk about their experiences and making the making of the film. I don't want to go on anymore. <laughs> I'll wrap up. Uh, watch and enjoy the film. But first, we'll be seeing a short film called Hear This. So enjoy your afternoon. Thank you very much. Thank you all. If your cell phones are on, please silence them. I won't uh, keep it any further. Please enjoy the films. <laughs> <laughs>